Just an accident. Hey, by the way, um, Peter Harry's was supposed to be with us, but um, come on. Sing ho for a brave and gallant ship with the fair and favouring breeze. Faith! With a bully crew and a captain too to carry me over the seas. To carry me over the seas, we boys to me through love far away. Hey. She's taken a trip on a government ship ten thousand miles away. Oh, my true love was beautiful and my true love was young. Her eyes, they shone like diamonds bright and silvery sounds her tongue. And silvery sounds her tongue, me boys, while I sing this lay. She's doing it grand in a distant land ten thousand miles away. Oh, nothing dismal was the day when last I seen me make it. She'd a government to burn around each hand and another one around each leg. Another one around each leg, me boys, all top in the suit of grey. Hey. And you said she remembered me ten thousand miles away. So blow your winds, high ho, a and I will go. I'll stay no more on England's shore, so let the music play. I'll catch the morning train, I'll cross the raging May. I'm taking a trip on a government ship ten thousand miles away. I'm taking a trip on a government ship ten thousand miles away. Very good, Pete. I tell you what, most of our guests, when they come and don't come and singing bright and jolly like you in the morning, it's jolly good to see you. And lovely to see you, Keith. And Fat Cat. How are you? My word, you're looking well. Now, that ship about your, that song rather, about your Meg and the government ship is obviously a song about a girl who's coming out here as a sort of a government travel bursary, uh, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Promoted by the British government right. to spend the rest of her days in Australia. Right. And the reason for that, of course, is on Saturday, January the 26th, Australia Day. It is Australia's birthday. Right. And that's well, she why sort of wasn't that. really a tourist, was she, sort of? No, no. Uh, but mind you, mind you, in their defence, she did get a, a free passage and she did get her own manacles and, uh, and her own suit, even if it was a grey with arrows on it. And I hope that she got herself <laughs> a husband, children, <laughs> grandchildren, grandchildren's grandchildren. And I'm sure they're and all that's still why living we're here around today. Australia. They're yeah. all watching us today. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise so hide all we you, wouldn't be here at all. Hide all you crooks out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's going to be a very big day, and I know that Pat Cat and I and Alison and Keith are coming along to a big concert that's going to be. wonderful day on the, on the Esplanade, yeah. Keith. All sorts of activities, what they call static displays, sheep shearing. Oh, now you couldn't call she sheep shearing a static display. Have you well, ever tried to shear it a sheep? it is if you stand still and watch it, yes. <laughs> and they're having the World Gum Nut Throwing Championship. This is for the third year. And that's yeah. a real event. That's two kilograms of gum nuts wrapped up in a, you a, didn't a bring, prawning net. I didn't bring one today, no. You didn't bring your own sheep, sure. did you? I can hear them. I don't know. The rocks aren't very thick, <laughs> are they? Perhaps one's fallen down a crevice. Now, I've heard that you've actually been in training for the uh, gum nut throwing. You, get, you reckon you're going to crack the world record yourself? Or? No, there's too many better ones than I, Keith. Do, now, what I want to know with the gum nut throwing, though, is there a kids division? No. Maybe we, we, maybe we should start up next year. Perhaps that's a good idea for next year. Kids division. We'll start at 4 o'clock instead of 5 o'clock. Yeah. But the big thing is for people to come and bring their picnics, their hampers. Right. And their drinks, their soft drinks, whatever they like to partake. Have you seen Fat Cat's hamper? No, I it's about the size of that rock. <laughs> it's huge. And they're encouraged to come and have a sundowner party, enjoy all these activities. There's an egg blowing contest. Would you like that, Fat Cat? Oh, is that where you've got to try and get the medal out of the egg? That's right. Yes. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. That's really And tricky. there's a ladies nail driving contest. I'm not sure what size. Well, you get a block of wood and some nails, and ladies get hammers and see how well they go at driving nails. Various things like this, and of course, Johnny Young Talent School is going to be there. Yep. Fat Cat. Fat Cat. And yourself. Yep. The team. And later on at night, a big concert starring Australia's greatest entertainer, I think that's Barry Crocker. It's going to be a beauty show. the top of the bill, and the Will Upson big band. And finishing off with a magnificent display of fireworks. Oh, great, because fireworks are one of my favourite things. Love fireworks. Yeah, everybody loves fireworks. Okay, well, Pete, thanks for Except coming along. Except the dogs. Well, how do cats feel about fireworks? Oh, Pat Cat doesn't mind it. Oh, that's great. He it's reckons... just the dogs that don't like it. Yeah, he reckons it's all right. 
Well, thanks for coming along today again, Pete, and telling us about it. So Saturday is the day to remember down at the Esplanade. What time does the show kick off, Pete? Uh, around about 5 o'clock. We'd like everybody to come along. So be there for Australia's birthday, January the 26th, Saturday afternoon. OK, thanks again, Pete. Love we'll you, take see a you, break. Fellas. Be back soon.